Good morning guys, welcome back to Rathburn Contracting. Today we have a pretty simple patio. It's right down the road, one of the closest jobs of the year to our shop, which is awesome. Just makes it so much more simple getting there. If you forget something, you can go back, um, save on diesel. So we're going to head there this morning. It's like 49 cloudy and misting. So it's uh, not the nicest weather, but it's a lot better than sweating with the 85 degree weather we've had lately. So. It's in a neighborhood. We're gonna really try to do a knockout job. To, it's always good marketing, basically, if you're in a neighborhood doing a good job with respectable trucks and clean work site. So we're gonna do a real good job. It's a uh, pretty standard patio, but it has a thickened edge and birthday cake steps. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a good day. We'll see you guys at the job. Alrighty, just got to the job. The guys are getting tools unloaded. It's uh, pretty straightforward. We're gonna do a plywood road through here so we don't tear up the lawn. We're gonna be tearing out this old patio and steps, putting in a nice new patio. Put it on the J channel. Do we have, we don't have zip tape. I don't think so, I didn't look for any. Okay, yeah, duct tape just leaves a residue because it's gonna be taped pretty much the whole week. Oh, yeah, that's pretty easy. <laughs> I just want to get away from the house to demo it. I don't think I have any deep wells that deep. I'm going to turn around so that we can load the concrete faster. The dump is not too far from here, so or gravel, it's really a great location for a job. I'm already hungry. Let's start with an apple. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can kind of see the neighbor's line. We just need to stay. And we can go over the sprinkler box. Okay. Way back there, there's a box we can go over it. I'm going to try to dump the sheets. That's going to be a lot of yard cleanup. I'm just gonna hang out down here. What are you doing down there? I guess I'm an old man today. <laughs> that was the gumpiest ball I've ever had. Drake, put this one sideways here.
but I'm gonna head and dump that and go get some gravel and we'll be back. I'm gonna need quite a bit of gravel. All right, just dumped that load of concrete, heading to get some sand or gravel. It's quite a lot of fill, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. I'd love to be able to just dump in the road so I can do multiple trips, but I don't wanna dump the crushed concrete because usually there's pieces of rebar and we don't want that getting in the road. So I'm just gonna get to eight point and decide when I'm there. We got that job prepped, ready to go for the morning. I'm going to head to the bigger addition job that we have. I'm gonna have the guys prep the garage tomorrow. It's the one where we got rained out last time. It's gonna be dry this whole week, so we're just gonna dig a big moat after we pour it. So I'm going to drop the machine off and set heights for the guys. That way they can easily pour it, or sorry, not pour it, prep it in the morning get the vis cleaned down get ready for compaction inspection so hopefully i don't hit too much rush hour traffic in ann arbor but we'll head there and do a little bit of prep Alrighty, just finished prepping that job i just moved around some pea stone and got the elevation set for the guys that way after our after we pour that patio tomorrow morning they're gonna come over there have pea stone delivered and get that job prepped and ready for compaction inspection on wednesday and then hopefully we'll pour the basement and the garage on Friday. So far the week's going pretty well and we're on schedule. I don't think the weather's changed at all so we're not expecting any rain. So short of some something bad happening, it should be uh, all the jobs fall in place. It's, it's gonna be a, a hard week. I'm definitely taking Sunday off because I have, we did, we prepped that patio today and then I came and prepped this. Tomorrow, we're pouring that patio. The guys are prepping that, and then I'm going to prep another patio. Wednesday, we are pouring a garage and prepping another patio. Thursday, we are pouring a patio and finishing prep on another job, and then Friday, we're pouring those two 
Saturday I'll go and saw cut that and then somewhere in there we've got to find a way to wrap up clean up topsoil seed seal all of those jobs <laughs> so it is a absolutely packed week I sat down this morning Monday and I just made a schedule wrote it all out and got all the jobs listed got concrete for every single day already scheduled and in place so we should be good to go but I'm gonna be burnt out at the end of this week I'm heading back to the shop I'm gonna get some rest and we will see you guys in the morning Good morning guys, welcome back. Today we are pouring the patio that we prepped yesterday. It's eight and a half, no, six and a half yards. Uh, we got two birthday cake steps, a uh, thickened edge all the way around, so it's a little trickier than just a regular patio, but we're gonna get it done. Mud is already on the way, so I'm just gonna race it there, get out tools, and hope the guys aren't late. I'm gonna enjoy this short morning drive and we'll see you guys at the job. bar back here I need uh, six like eight inches just like about that long hey Jack 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 hold up don't start dumping yet uh, we need one two uh, four foot sixers here
All right, just got it screeded. That went pretty smooth. I like these nice early pours. Just gonna get my easy trial pumped up and get a mist on there. It's gonna be pretty hot today, so I definitely don't want this blowing up because it makes it complicated when you have to strip and face the steps. A lot of guys will do uh, their steps a different day before you pour, which is a good idea if you're doing like stamps, but small load fees just is not worth it. I don't even look. <laughs> I don't want to know. I don't think they get you unless it's like a ridiculous two hour thing. But it's way more about the dispatcher saying, holy cow, Rathburn's truck's back already right. than the money. Because then he'll prioritize me because he knows I get stuff poured out instead of some guys. This would be a four hour pour for Billy and Bob. When I got paid for that wall, he goes, just one more thing. What's that white stuff in the water? I said, what? He goes, what's that white stuff down there? From washing out and one of you goofballs must have actually put concrete, not just concrete water down there. So he made me get in my shorts, take my boots off, and two five gallon buckets worth of concrete chunks I had to scrape out of the sea bottom. Yeah, no, it felt good. Is a Sunday? Still, I'm saying like if it was yesterday morning. Oh, yeah. If it was like eight in the water, <laughs> that would have sucked. It was colder than I thought when I because I had to get up to my shoulder to reach. I didn't have any tools, so I just used my hands. Hey, Stephanie, it's Austin. Well, I wanted to get some stone delivered. 10 yards of pea stone. All right, sounds good. Thanks, Stephanie. We'll do this one first. Got a line, 65 inches. It's like right in the middle of that first tree. Okay. All right, take this. You're gonna snap it for me. We're gonna go right in the middle of the step for the first one. Am I over that, the furthest mark out? Do I look good? That, that one right there, right by the dangly. Oh, okay. I can't really see in and out, so you right tell, you like that? Right in the middle. And it looks like it's in the middle of the step, like if you look at the door. No, I wanna go there. This way? Right there. Okay, and then however far off you are there, go that much off your line. Because mathematically, that's right. When you're good, snap it. Okay. Okay.
really nice. We got a thick 10 inch, 10 to 12 inch base all the way around, stripped and broomed. We got nice tool joints, the birthday cake steps, and should be good to go. Just cleaning up tools. We also poured a small step for them while we were here. It was some pre-made little cheap looking step. So we gave them a nice concrete step at their front entrance. All right, just finished that one up. We got all cleaned up, heading back to the shop to load back up with a different setup and head to the next patio to get it prepped for Thursday. Drake and Luke are prepping the garage and the basement for Friday. So they should be all set doing that. I'm gonna go down and get started on the patio myself. Jack's got a couple estimates and yeah. I'm gonna stop by the dealership and see if our main work truck is done so that I can get two work rigs set back up. So I'm really hoping they said it would be done by today. It's just after noon, so they still have a couple hours, but I'm hoping that maybe the timing's worked out and I can get it back. All right, they are not done, but I was able to see it in the shop. So I went up and just got my main DeWalt grease gun it was up on the rack but i just walked up and took it because i'm sick and tired of it being here this is uh four weeks for a fuel pump that they had in stock and i told them as soon as i brought it here i said hey this is re i have a reader at my shop i said it's reading a fuel pump code fuel temperature fuel pump temperature and fuel t pump pressure error codes so i'm just a concrete guy but that tells me it's probably something to do with the fuel pump and they took three weeks to diagnose and figure out that it uh, is exactly what I said, the fuel pump. I usually have Drake and Luke pouring jobs with this truck while I have the other truck setting up other jobs. So while it's been in the shop, we've been using the pickup truck to just pile tools in the bed and we never have the right tools or enough tools or stakes it's just a pain in the butt and it makes me really grumpy because it's uh, it's not just a leisurely vehicle, it's my money-making tool. And I totally understand when you get busy. I'm busy myself, but you should be calling at least once a week with an update because otherwise I'm just in the dark and it's really frustrating. But now that I got the DeWalt grease gun, I guess technically I have pretty much every tool on this truck. So that's hopefully done. Hopefully it's gonna be done in a couple days. And hopefully it doesn't break down for a while. It just hit 30,000 miles. This truck is just under a hundred. And it's only had one tiny issue with the shifter. Other than that, this truck has been a flawless workhorse, so I think my next truck will definitely be a Ford.